Cielito lindo, and we this is this is gonna be the Puerto Rican, um, eh, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> the Puerto Rican, the Puerto Rican dish. Okay, I'm going to start by making the meat. You can use your own recipe, but I'm gonna show you. I have one pound of ground beef, and I have half of onion. I'm gonna cut it in small pieces. Three fresh garlic. I also have a bunch of fresh cilantro, two Roma tomatoes, and you can use those regular tomato as well. And to season in the meat, um, we're just gonna make a um, homemade sauce. And I have some paprika, and if you don't wanna use paprika, you can use the envelope of sazon con culantro y achote. I also have a seasoning, like seasoning salt, and you can use adobo, you can use salt and black pepper. We're gonna go simple with the ingredients. I also have a skillet in here, reheating it, and I'm gonna cut all these vegetables and I'm coming back. Okay, in here, I'm going to add just a little bit oil to saute all the vegetables, and all the vegetables, I already cut them. If you don't wanna cut it and you don't wanna use that, you can use sofrito, and I have a video on how to make sofrito, which is the same thing, but I blend in the blender. I had the half of the onion cut, and we're gonna saute this for a couple of minutes. The um, tomatoes. And if you don't wanna use tomatoes, you're gonna have a can of the tomato sauce. And I just mash the garlic here. So we're gonna saute this for approximately five minutes and you're gonna um, move this constantly because you don't want them to, to burn. This is gonna be the um, the sofrito base for the uh, meat. But like I said, you can add more stuff or you can take off. We're gonna go simple because we're gonna add uh, another stuff. So we're not gonna over seasoning the uh, meat. It passed approximately like five minutes. And now I'm gonna add the meat. I just gonna break into the um, meat by cutting it with the uh, wooden spatula. Okay, now we're gonna break into the meat and I'm gonna add some paprika. I'm going to add approximately one tablespoon of paprika. If you don't wanna add paprika, you're gonna add an envelope of sazon. And I have a seasoning salt. You can add adobo, you can add salt, and you're gonna add that to your taste. And now the black pepper. We're gonna go simple and the seasoning. I'm gonna let this cook for approximately 10 minutes. But first, make sure you combine everything. And after you combine everything, you're going to cover it, put it in the medium, and like I say, let it cook from six to 10 minutes or under the meat is cooked. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, I said in Spanish. I have a baking dish in here. You can use, I use in this square one. You can use a round one. I have a eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is softened and you can use one or two, two um, cream cheese. And you're going to put it in there and you're gonna co cover. That's gonna be your first layer. I just changed the spoon. This one worked better for me. And make sure you cover the whole the whole um, thing or the whole the whole bottle. And I have some baked pinto beans, refried, I mean not baked, refried pinto beans. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cover the second layer. Now I'm going to put the second layer, which is the refried beans, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna spread it, and that's gonna be the second layer. 
Now we're gonna spread. Try to use a bigger um because um baking pan or baking dish because this one I'm using is kind of small one for all those layers. So I want you to have that in consideration because now the third layer is gonna be the meat. And if you don't need meat, don't worry. Just keep that step. So some people, I know some people don't eat meat. You can do this vegetarian or just the, you know, the refried bean and all the uh, vegetables. And that's the, uh, like I said, the third layer. And we're gonna do the same thing as you see. We're just gonna spread everything on top. Now the fourth mm -hmm. layer is gonna be the uh, chunky salsa. And remember they sell them mild, medium, and hot. So you're gonna choose, you know, whatever you like better and then we're going to put the whole thing and some people mix the meat with the salsa i just going to put it on top and do the same things just spread the uh because we're making layers now the four layers is going to be lettuce i'm using an eight, eight ounces bag of lettuce you're going to put it on top and then if you like tomatoes, you can cut some tomatoes and put them on top of the lettuce. I'm not going to do that because my daughter doesn't like tomatoes too much. And I already have a lot of tomato, tomato flavoring here. <laughs> and then the cheese. I use a mozzarella. And you can use the cheese of your preference. And I use charred cheddar cheese. But you can use the Mexican blend, which is all the blends, all the cheeses um, blend. And we're gonna serve that with tostitos, I mean, with nachos, with, you can put it in individual containers, or you can just put it on the table with a bee spoon, and people can grab it. So this is a real um, good idea. And as you see, it's a lot of, of the, um, it's a lot, that's seven layers. Oh, let's put six layers because I'm missing the tomatoes. And here is the final result. Cielito lindo, all seven layers dip. Okay, now we're gonna taste it. I put it in a plate, and then you serve it with tostitos or chips or crackers. And then you put it in a table. Or you can even make it an individual container. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm. I used one of the um, tomatoes, but I didn't put tomatoes because my daughter doesn't like tomato tomatoes too much. I love tomatoes. But I love tomatoes now. If you're going to, I love tomatoes now. If you're going to add some tomatoes, it's going to make seven layers. Mm mm. Mm. Yum. You like it? Yep. Okay. I love it. Mm hmm. She's eating. So, Mama loves it. Yeah. And you were watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, share with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. On to the next video. God bless. Mm -hmm. Good time.